The Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania is the oldest business school in the United States and also one of the largest with nearly 1,800 full-time MBA students. Wharton is also consistently ranked among the very top business schools in the world and is best known for its reputation in finance. But these are things you already know about Wharton, right? Today, I'm gonna to share three things you might not know about Wharton. Hi, I'm Jeremy Scheinwald, founder of MBA Mission. And over 20 years, we've helped thousands of applicants get admitted to elite MBA programs, including Wharton, of course. Now, we always encourage applicants to fully research schools rather than base their decisions on long-standing reputations, even with great schools like Wharton. So download our insider's guide to Wharton. It's a great place to start. It's free and goes in depth on all aspects of the school. So let's start with that finance reputation. Taking a look at the most recent Wharton MBA employment report, financial services is indeed the largest industry. However, if you look closer, you'll see that within financial services, Wharton MBAs are going to a broad range of roles, not solely investment banking. But 30% of Wharton graduates going to financial services also include private equity, venture capital, and insurance. So what about the remaining 62% of the class? A large chunk of students, almost 25%, go into consulting, followed by 16% to technology, and the remainder is spread across consumer products, energy, healthcare, media, real estate, manufacturing, and more. With all these opportunities, we think Wharton has a wide range of career options and doesn't deserve to be labeled as solely a finance school. This variety of career options relates to the second thing you may not know about Wharton, it's diversity. Looking at the numbers, Wharton can boast that 35% of its recent class is international with over 75 countries represented. Its most recent class also includes 8% LGBTQ individuals and the school's Out for Business Club boasts 500 allied members on campus and hosts one of the most popular Wharton social events, the White Party. Also of note, Wharton became the first elite MBA program to enroll more women than men, with 52% women in its cohort starting in 2021. This milestone achievement followed another milestone for Wharton, with Dean Erica James becoming dean in 2020. She was my professor. Dean James is the first woman and the first person of color to lead the business school. Dean James has made diversity, equity, and inclusion a priority starting in the 2023-24 school year. The Wharton MBA will even include an entire major dedicated to DEI. This major will include courses like business economics and discrimination and leading diversity in organizations. These are just a few indicators of the diversity present at Wharton. Well done. With all these career opportunities and such a dynamic community, the Wharton experience sounds like it could be fairly intense. But our third and final thing you may not know about Wharton is that it's actually not a competitive culture. Wharton students and alumni tell us all the time they expected Wharton to be competitive and cutthroat, but their classmates turned out to be really nice and down to earth. According to these Wharton insiders, the school works hard to cultivate a highly collaborative, friendly culture. For instance, each incoming class is divided into four clusters, which are then divided into three cohorts for a total of 12 cohorts. Students take all their fixed core courses within that cohort. So right away, you have a small community within a larger class. Within the cohort, students are then divided into five or six person learning teams. Students complete class assignments and projects with their learning teams, and these teams are carefully composed to represent diverse backgrounds. Learning teams are even mentored by second year leadership fellows who help foster teamwork and guide students through much of their first year. This focus on collaboration over competition translates in the classroom too. Wharton students report that professors are highly invested in their experience and even take groups of students to lunch to share life and career advice. Furthermore, it's not an official school policy, but in recent years, students have voted overwhelmingly not to disclose grades to employers. This de facto grade non-disclosure practice means that students are more focused on promoting cooperation and lifelong learning rather than competing for top marks and even jobs. Wharton has so much to offer, even beyond what you might expect from a school with such renown. If you want to learn more about Wharton admissions, check out these videos. Thanks for watching.